So many lead changes. It doesn't seem like either team can hold an advantage for long. Now, I tell you what, this has been a game of traded runs. Igor Alec gets to Durant. Duncan with a screen for Durant. Shot clock at five. Pass it to Harden. Fires from the wing. And it's Chicago scoring again. Pretty much no chance for the smaller defender to block that jumper. Yeah, he knows exactly how to use his size to his advantage there. Nice rebound in traffic, and that's his job. Durant attacking it. And there's the whistle. Foul on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's on Kevin Durant. For Chicago, they made all of their free throws so far tonight, going six for six. Durant doing all sorts of things. He's got eight points and two steals. Good contribution for him offensively with the assist and also making some nice deals. You're right, Clark. He's been equal parts creative and disruptive. So Utah ends up going with a new group. Here's Harden. And the shot no good, a bit short. And now Utah fans free. And Wilkins slams it in. What a beautiful pass to set that one up. The pass might have been pretty, but the finish, I thought, are angry. That's a... There's 57 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Hayes. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. It's his first trip to the line. Hayes hits them both. Fifty seconds left in the third quarter. Stock in passes to Malone. That's a good shot for him there, but it's kind of puzzling to me that he's not calling for the ball today like he usually does. He has to do more if they're going to pull ahead. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. That one on Malone. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. And, uh, that's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. Such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game here. Green kicks to Drummond. And the foul on Carmelo Anthony. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. For Chicago, they have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. And he's good on the second. Utah trails by three. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Stockton outside. Malone with the screen. Six to shoot. Outside for Durant. That's three pointers off the mark. So for Chicago right now, they've got Anthony. Kawhi Leonard is on for a three. Then there's Andre Jones, and it's Hayes in the power forward position. Solid on the one hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, you got, you got that right, Kevin. He's such a reliable finisher. Out to Anthony. The basket is good. The assist from Stockton. Nine points for Carmelo Anthony. Wow, fans just getting their money's worth tonight. Really entertaining ball game. It has been. The margin separating these teams has been paper thin. A shot by Anthony, no good. Green kicks to Anthony. Anthony missing again. Utah leading. Malone's shot, good. Malone's got four points this quarter. Yeah, great ball movement. They're just picking this defense apart with their passing. Chicago making a switch here. That's 
find out what Doris Burke has for us. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolstra was saying to his team. He actually lit into them pretty heavily, saying, we're being way too soft on the inside. I better start to see some toughness and more shots being challenged. No more easy baskets. Pretty strong words, guys. To the middle. It's tipped. It's Harden with the drive. And it's Durant missing. Well, I tell you what, guys, he's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. And he takes the feed and stride and slams it home. Boy, right down to the wire here, Clark and Steve. Still anyone's ball game. Both teams really invested now. I mean, this is the type of game you, you love to win and you hate to lose. Boy, after all this, this energy that both teams have expended, uh, yeah, you're right, but this would be a tough one to lose. Three-pointer from Stockton. And another shot. And Malone puts it in. Malone's got six points in the quarter. But the defense just looked a little lazy on the glass there. Yeah, nobody boxing out. That's inexcusable. Offensive rebound. And it's blocked by Malone. Here's Durant. Powered it down. What a smooth finish. Well, he's certainly the one they want on the end of those breaks. He always finishes strong. And the shot is good. 15 points for James Harden. That's a big basket there. You can expect him to be very involved and aggressive the rest of the way. Durant gets to stop him. Off target from outside. Well, that defense went from four to no defense at all. Well, you don't see him miss that shot very often. When he's open like that, it's usually lights out. Durant with this green on George. And Leonard gets it to go. Boy, Durant did a nice job. Created space for that shot. Stopped in with it. Leonard picks him up. And slammed in by the line. Went for the two-hander on that slam. Comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> I think some urgency from the man. Yeah, he's sensing this is a critical time in this game, guys. And out of bounds is Chicago Games position. Oh, that certainly could be costly. In a close one, those kinds of mistakes can really give the other team momentum. Harden again. Sure. Harden picks to Cousins. Kept the line. Oh, trying for it. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. Yeah, Steve and Kevin, you guys got to love this team. I mean, everybody's involved and engaged. Let's the score. That makes it so tough on the defense because now you, you, you can't account for everybody when the ball is moving so quickly. Durant in the corner. And the powerful one the slam. Right back to the basics there, using the one hand slam for that one. Doesn't he make the basics look pretty exceptional? Yeah, he does. They look sweet when he does them. Well, I, he should stay with those basics in a tight ball game because uh, we've got one here tonight. Green by Malone. And Stockton, here we go. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. He drops the first down and gives him the lead. Second one is good. And both at the line. It's a two-point ball game. That was critical, guys. Absolutely critical. And, you know, that's what we're used to seeing out there. Here's Durant. Harden again. Tiffany. Looking for George. He gets it good. You can see the eye contact there. David Little nod and then first to the rim for the Allen slam. No doubt, Clark. A pair of teammates with a terrific feel for each other out on the floor. Yeah, and what a play to make in a close game. A potential momentum builder. 
Chicago needs to do a better job there than he has to win. He has nine points and two rejections. He's shown some flash with his passing and some grit with his board work. Well, that's not a combination too many players are capable of either, guys. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a six-point ball game. Good work at the line to stretch that lead out a little bit. Here's Durant. Malone with the block. And the foul on Carmelo Anthony. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Carmelo Anthony. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Now here's Cousins. And nothing you can do to, to salvage this one at this point. Game over. Not anymore. Any chance they had is gone. Not the best shot. Long range and with a defender right in his space. And defensively, that's the kind of work he's known for. I mean, he loves to lock you up. Stockton outside. Six to shoot. For the three. Here's Durant. Off on that one. And so it's Utah with the win. It was a solid win, play. Yeah, it was. And I think it came down to Will more than Steel. They went out and got this one. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Holland saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least, here is your Jordan player of the game, Carmelo Anthony.